Hi, it's Marquez here from bsbsearch.com. Growing up, I often accompanied my mother to the markets to buy weekly groceries. And there was a blind man who, who had an electric guitar. And it's plugged into an amplifier. Now, and now that I think of it, I think the, the speaker was broken because it always sounded distorted. He was in his 40s. And, and he would sing in front of his microphone. He also had a harmonica, and he would sometimes play that too, along with the guitar, if he wasn't singing. He had a bowl where people would throw coins in as they walked past. And at the end of the day, he would pack up and go home. I was growing up in the Philippines at the time. I was young. I was about six years old or something. And the scene might have looked a bit like this. Buskers and street performers are a common sight worldwide, showcasing a variety of talents. Musicians, actors, magicians, dancers, or even mimes, pretending to be statues. And when people come too close, they would just startle them. It just creates a bit of entertainment for people. Entertainment, beauty, depends on what their art form is. But they share their crafts, their skills, their work, and the audience are just free to enjoy it. They can stay as long as they like. They might just stop for a bit and go, or they might just decide to stay and watch a whole show. And the audience decides whether to appreciate them, whether to give them a tip financially, like a little coins, a few cents of a peso, or a few cents of a euro or a dollar. And people just decide how much they want to tip. There is no pressure. For thousands of years, people have been doing this. People have been performing in public places for money in every major culture in the world. Before the advent of recording equipment, many musicians actually relied on street performance for their livelihood. And the rewards could extend beyond money to food, or drinks, or gifts. The money given to buskers and street performers is often referred to as tips or donations. People give this money to show appreciation for the performer's talent and to support them financially. It's a direct way for audiences to reward performers for the entertainment and the, the laughs that they provide. Some places have a culture of tipping generously, while others may not. And a busker can pack up at the end of the day and have coins to buy food to eat with their family. But today, in the bustling digital marketplace, people like, they just press a, a button to say like, thumbs up, or share. They might comment. And these Digital tokens serve as a way to engage with content, as a nod to the creator, to the artist or performer, who entertain and who impress and move their global audience with their performances. However, unlike a bowl of coins, these likes, shares or comments cannot be used to, to buy a meal. They can't really bring meal to a table, can they? So until recently, there wasn't a digital cash solution that was cheap, that was quick and accessible. For half of the world's population, owning a bank account or a credit card is not feasible. You can't be tipping someone halfway across the world just to give them 50 cents. Traditional payment methods are too expensive. And as a result, Tipping small amounts is practically, or had become practically, impossible. But now, there's a solution. Remember Bitcoin? You remember Bitcoin? It was initially touted as digital cash. Where is it now? Most people think that Bitcoin is this project labeled in exchanges as BTC. That, indeed, 
cannot be used as cash, as it can only process seven transactions per second globally. It's way too expensive to use and totally unusable for tipping artists, performers, and creators around the world if you just want to tip them 50 cents or 20 cents or 10 cents. However, the real Bitcoin is Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, BSV. And I say this because it restored the original Bitcoin protocol and it continues to adhere to the principles outlined by its inventor, Satoshi Nakamoto. And, and because of this, BSV has unlocked the capability of handling microtransactions. With BSV, we can modernize this practice of tipping and donating to artists, creators, and performers worldwide. It aligns our spirits of gratitude with the digital age. Tipping is not charity, but it's about valuing the effort and the labor that fuels our daily dose of information, entertainment, and, and enlightenment. Sometimes these performers do make us wiser. They make us think a little bit better about the issues that we face. And here is why this practice of tipping could be transformative for the digital ecosystem. Number one, monetary motivation. A tip is a tangible token of appreciation. It's a pat in the back that carries financial value. And potentially it can motivate creators. And further, like I said before, unlike receiving 10,000 likes on a post or a tweet on a social media site, Tips and donations can amount to something substantial that can make it possible for creators, artists, and performers to actually make money from their passions online. Number two, sustaining quality content. These contributions, these monetary support, can lead to better resources for the creators for the artists and for the performers. They can save some of the tips and donations that they receive and use them to pay for the expenses that they need. They can buy better equipment and materials that can help them create better content, more superior content. Number three, global applause. With Bitcoin SV, tipping transcends geographical boundaries. It's serving as a universal nod of approval. It's not just your local town. It's not just your local piazza. This is basically the world. You are engaging with artists from anywhere in the world, and they are enga engaging with you, the audience, wherever you may be. There are so many talented artists, but many of them remain unseen. They remain unheard and they remain unrewarded. And with Bitcoin SV, artists, creators, and performers from countries like the Philippines, Indonesia, those in Africa, those in Eastern Europe, they can now make money from their music, their art, or performances that they post on the internet. Now, how does it work? The tips and donations are sent as BSV tokens through the Bitcoin SV network, which spans globally. These transactions are recorded on the BSV blockchain. Content creators post their work, and it could be an image, if you're, they're photographers, for example, uh, music, could be music, could be a video file or an animation file, and they could post it on their website, on their Facebook page, YouTube channel, on Twitter, basically anywhere else on the internet. And then with each of their performances or content, they can include their BSV address or a QR code of the BSV address. And then any person around the world who is watching and they've got a Bitcoin wallet installed on their phone 
or on their computer can just copy the BSV address or scan the QR code of that BSV address of the content to send their tips or donations. It's that easy. Now, let's talk about the advantages of tipping using the openness of Bitcoin SV and the internet. Many artists, creators, and performers have steadily built a following on platforms like YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook, or some other platform. And it takes a while to, to satisfy the requirements set by these platforms before they can even earn their first cent of earnings. And even after months or years of sustained effort, the revenues from these platforms can suddenly dry up because the platform may decide to implement a policy or a change in the platform's algorithms. These artists or creators would have to rebuild again and perhaps even on another platform. Bitcoin as fee can be used on any platform. So this means then that creators, performers and artists can post their content across multiple platforms like Twitter, YouTube, or Facebook, and many others. And this reduces their reliance on only one or two platforms. Because these platforms can always set restrictions, setting rules that make it difficult, if not impossible, to earn BSVs. So as a content creator, as an artist, or a performer, you should always have a website or a blog on which to start hosting your content so that over time you can build enough followers that you will no longer need any other platform. And with the open nature of Bitcoin, Bitcoin SV, and the internet, you will have that freedom to move around. Let's imagine then there's a lot of you, artists, creators, content providers, posting your works online with your BSV code or your QR code, you start receiving tips and donations. What we actually come to realize now is that tips and donations for digital content can actually be used to rank and to find out the best content from around the world. I'll tell you what I mean. See, people love ranking things in order of how good it is relative to other similar items, right? So, for example, you've got top 10 books in 2023, top 50 songs of the 90s, or top 20 of the internet's funniest memes, and maybe top TV shows that you need to rewatch. Now, how do they determine? which items should be top. Now, for books, it could be the number of books sold. For songs, it could be the number of downloads using one or a few apps. I don't know if you've heard of Reddit, like reddit.com. There, people click an arrow up or down to rank a content according to their preferences. The more a content is pushed upwards than that, content stays up, meaning it's more visible for other users to see. Now, the problem with these methods is that the data used to categorize items depends on a few distributors or retailers that report sales, or, or it could rely on just the data coming from one website or one platform. The data is not truly open, nor is it truly global. And it isn't publicly verifiable, many of it. But if creators assign a unique Bitcoin address to every digital content, they can track how many tips they get for each of their work. When they do this, then they can start monitoring to see which of their content is more popular and therefore would give them an indication of what type of work people like more. Because every Bitcoin 
or Satoshi received as a tip or as a donation is a vote from whoever tipped or donated those Satoshis to the creator or to the performer of that music, of that photo, or that video. Therefore, the amount that a piece of content receives as tips or donations can serve as an indicator, as a marker, to see which content has been voted by those people that, who are moved or entertained enough by the performances. The tips or donations that a specific piece of content receives can therefore be used as a proxy for quality, likability or support from the public. And much like books are ranked by how many they've sold or the top 10 most requested songs to be played by a radio station, people can start comparing and sorting songs, music, art, ebooks, and everything else that has its assigned tipping Bitcoin address according to how much tips and donations they have received. Now, lists will be curated to find out the most tipped content per country, per region, per genre, or per type, to find the best or the most popular content of its type. And the great thing about this, again, is that the data is public, open, and verifiable. The content that's being ranked is not limited to a specific internet platform. We're not just ranking content from Twitter against other content from Twitter, or Facebook against others on Facebook. Instead, all content from around the world on any website is included. They can be ranked against each other. And this, indeed, uses the open protocol nature of the internet and Bitcoin as V. The tips are public, and this transparency paves the way for a fair assessment of content quality. It brings a measure to rank and recognize quality content relative to others that provides a level playing field for all creators, artists, and performers worldwide. Recently, I've been watching YouTube videos of uh, performances of a singer from Indonesia. And there's so many people from, from the US and the UK, they love his performances, and they're making reaction videos to his expressions of his music. You know, and it would be great if people like him could get financial rewards and support for all the years he had put into his craft from people worldwide who now discover him as an artist. And for you too, right? I know some of you watching these do have a talent, but never really expressed it in a way. And that goes for any one of us. Some of us do have talents. Uh, some of us are hidden performers, but there's just been no way of monetizing that, uh, that talent. And this is your chance. You can just post a video, put a QR code there, put your Bitcoin address, and if people tip you, great. It could be the beginning of something. Now, for me personally, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to start thinking of works that I can ask tips for. And I'm going to start compiling lists, lists of top songs, top videos, and all these different media. If many of you join me and start creating and publishing content asking for tips, then as long as you're doing this, you are qualified to rank in one of these lists that I will be compiling. So it's, it's a nice, competitive, fun way to you know, get our works out and, and also find the best quality works in, in the BSV world. And soon, it will just be the best quality works in the world. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. Now's the time to subscribe. So that way you, can, you don't miss any of the videos I'm sending out in the future. And you can also find me at bsvsearch.com. There's a contact form there. Just fill out that form. And if it's a message from me, then it will filter through to me. So until next time, bye-bye.